nice things about disappearing fountain is that they're supposed to be very low maintenance. So anything that we can do to keep you from having to get to that pump all the time is a good thing. Which is why I think this mesh also comes in handy because it's going to help keep leaves and stuff from getting down in the basin and clogging the pump. Now when I get to this point of the installation, I've got the basin in its level. I've got my concrete blocks in to support my grating. I've cut the little hole out for my tubing to come through that's coming from my pump. I've got the mesh on there. At this point, I like to go ahead and add water to the basin. Because when you start standing on this, lifting a big pot onto it, you don't want to risk shifting it or getting it on level. So getting all that extra weight of water in there will help keep it nice and stable. So we'll give this a few minutes to fill up. And once it's nice and full, we'll be bringing the pot over here and actually showing you how to connect the tubing. And then at that point, we get to test the pump out. We'll plug it into our nearest outlet and see what it does.